Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, after a bit of a disastrous outing day, <laughs> yesterday and today, I've decided to get straight back on the horse and do something creative before I lose my nerve. So what I'm going to do is have a go at a class um, by the lovely Tamara Laporte um, from Willowing Arts. I will leave a link to them below. I've, done, I've been doing online classes with Tamara on and off for several years. She's probably one of the first online art classes I did was with Tamara and uh, she's just yeah she's lovely and she specializes in these whimsical girls and quirky creatures and uh, makes it all very easy really so I thought right that's something I could do I can't I can't go wrong <laughs> so I've got um a class to follow with Tamara which I think was called Meditation Girl. I've watched the first part of it earlier on and um, made some notes and I've got my sketch ready and I'm going to sit and just um, start the painting process while I binge watch a bit of Netflix or <laughs> something or other. So I thought I'll just film it and I'll speed it along and put some music to it and you might enjoy watching it. I'll come back at the end and we'll see how that went shall we hopefully hopefully better than my last effort <laughs> thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy
Right, so it's only been... Uh, oh, hang on, let's... Um, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, it's... Uh, altogether, I've been less than a couple of hours on this and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm really happy I got back on the proverbial horse. Because <laughs> um, it just made me feel better after the disaster I had yesterday. <laughs> All I've got to do now um, is... What, what Tam did was um, she added some symbols to some of the chakra points. Tam's lessons are always quite, they they involve a lot of um, kind of self-healing work and that kind of thing, which she always says, you know, if, if you're not into all of that, that just don't worry about it. And I'm, sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not. This time I'm, I'm not too bothered, but I quite like the idea of doing uh, my own thing with it and putting a yin-yang symbol there. Because um, part of what this one was about was... Um, it was the gift, the gifts of our. Hang on, what's it called? The gift of our stories, or something. It was about. It was about thinking about things that have happened to you that, and you've gone through that aren't that aren't good, but the good things that sometimes come out of them. Um, so it's like darkness and light. You know, there has to be darkness in order for there to be light. So um, I think maybe I'll I'll do a, a yin yang there. Oh, we could put it there. No, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to do that. I'll probably do that with Posca pens. And then what Tan did was a lot of, uh, she used just white acrylic paint and just did a lot of dabbing with her fingers and let that dry and went back over again with more of the Neo colours. And then I think she finished up with just dotting in some bright orange or something like that. So I'm going to do that, speed it through and um, won't take me longer than half an hour now and I'm done. <laughs> Then I've got to get this room ready and everything because later on I've got my live stream. So um, if you if you happen to end up watching this, if I get it together and post it in time and you're watching this on Sunday the 5th of June, don't miss the live stream at 2pm UK time. <laughs> trash dolls! Major trash, make some dolls with me. Right, okay, enough of that. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to carry on and finish this off and I will definitely make sure I link Willowing Arts below so you can check out some of um, Tamara Laporte's lessons. She does do a lot of uh, freebies. If you go on her website, she does some freebies so you can have a little taste of that and to spend anything. And they're really, really good. Cup of coffee is the next morning. <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, I'll see I haven't finished Wittering, have I? One thing that is brilliant about this whole process um, is it because it's, if you're following a process that someone else has already worked out for you, which is nice. You're learning things, you're learning skills and stuff, and you're putting your own spin on it. I drew my own, I drew the face myself and everything. But because you're following the instructions, you're not having to think too hard, and because it's built up layer by layer by layer, the whole process, it's a, it's a meditating girl, and the whole process was very meditative, actually. Yeah, it's been really, I feel quite chilled after the, after the, um, frustration of yesterday that's a big relief okay i'm really going now Right, that's it, I'm done. And that's been about 20 minutes, so um, not bad at all. So all together, a couple of hours, and I'm very happy and chilled. <laughs> and like always with these kind of, um, with these kind of lessons, you end up putting your own little touches on, you know, the idea of it, um, doing the little dashes of different colours with my paint pens. 
um, I just added that because in my mind that symbolises rain and the colours I've used are more a bit more sort of rainbow than terms I think um, and to me rain and rainbows is very symbolic of um, darkness and light and you can't have lovely times without having the bad times and all of that um, so that's it really going this time thanks very much for watching see you soon bye